Have you been looking for great tools, systems, and resources to help you manifest your perfect 2025? Huh, we just might have those. Let's talk about it today on the Wandering But Not Lost podcast. And now your host, Jen O'Brien and Matt Emerson. Welcome, everyone, to the WBNL Wandering But Not Lost podcast, where together we align, connect, and prosper. You can find all those show notes over at WBNLpodcast.com. This was episode 315. Jen O'Brien, we created the our My Path, gosh, probably about seven years ago, and it's gone through several different iterations. I'm looking forward to talking about that today, but I'm really looking forward to kind of introducing our manifestation map that you've been kind of working on diligently for the for the last little bit here. So that's gonna it's gonna be a fun combo. Yeah. Oh, they, of course you have it printed out. Well, because I'm excited about working on it this yeah. weekend. Uh, yes, cool. we're gonna get to that. That's the newest addition to the My Path set of documents that we've created and we share freely with you. Matt's gonna show you and tell you where to get them. Obviously, it's over on our wbnlcoaching.com right. website. Probably in a couple places, resources, freebies. It's definitely in the freebies area. Right. So yeah. we're going. Let's dive in and talk about it. We're going to remind you if you're new to our podcast or our channel, what is in my past. So what we've been working on the last few weeks is talking a little bit about how to set your intentions and set goals, whatever you want to call it. I'm calling them intentions for the new year and business planning, things like this. And now we want to introduce this. This basically a set of several documents to get clarity, narrow your focus, and take action. Exactly what it says on the cover of our My Path. So let's walk through. These are worksheets. So the idea of this is a PDF. You can download it. You can print it out. Like there are several sheets in here I like to use that you, that you could just print out multiple copies for the week or the month and use them. You could also another great idea would be to go get these things laminated and check them off as you want to or write the, on them and that might actually be something that's instead a of great idea. Bunch of paper just came to me and i think i may print these out on print them on cardstock take them over to you know the your favorite office store and get them laminated yeah and then you really and then just idea. get some of those little uh you know whatever dry erase kind of things markers, yep. don't use permanent marker because it won't come off but use it yeah, it's a marker. really awesome goal that you know you're gonna hit there you go. But uh, well, let's walk through and I'll explain if you're listening on the podcast, I'll explain what you're seeing. Do my best to explain this. And it starts with, of course, gosh, of course. The, key, the secret sauce, the key to creating total success in your business in life is do the daily. That's right. So we have the daily written out here for you in a beautiful graphic which you could go and get some stickers for you over in our, sh uh, it's, it's in our shop on our shop. website. Yep. Oh my gosh, I love yep. it. Just very briefly, remember the morning routine, number one, morning routine, lead generation one to two hours a day, a lead follow-up, because once you generate leads, you have to follow up because guess what? Not everybody's ready to buy or sell or get your service uh, immediately when you're chatting with them. And then number four is active clients. That's the focus when you have active clients. And number five is everything else, all the administrative escrow training, other things you're doing, which can tend to fill somebody's day up. If you don't focus on one, two, and three, one, two, and three are going to get you to four, which is clients. And then five comes afterward. There's always time to get that done. Now, what's great about this particular document that i am definitely going to go laminate and i have some cardstock so and i have plenty of ink so i'm going to print this out it's basically a a week list where the more the five things are there monday through sunday and you check off that you accomplish a month's right? worth on here on each oh one. Yeah, awesome that's right i forgot yeah. about that so a whole month there you go you can laminate it and uh you know erase those marks and keep track of how are you doing and what did you miss and and you know hey, this you is know, really this is especially good jim because you know anything you know any habit takes a while to get you know into your into your system and if you have something like this where you're actually doing you're actually checking off what you did after a while you'll see what you're missing and what you you know what what you need to work on or what you might need to tweak a little bit because maybe yeah. you think you have the right morning routine but if it's not something that's yeah. really getting you up and going you're not going to actually do it we all know and that then, 
you know, like if you're not really and you know, look, there's no cheating on this. You're just cheating yourself. No one's going to be calling you up. I'm not calling you up and say, show me your day, do the daily checklist. That's you right. know, lead generation needs to be checked off at least five days a week. Okay. Right. Four to five days a week. Sure. And, and one thing, cl active clients aren't going to be on your, on your, every single day. And that's okay. Cause if you had only had active clients, you'd have to redo your entire business structure and have other people helping you with the other things. That's right. So that's do the daily. Love that. The my to-do list is just something that uh, is the way my brain worked for years. I used to actually get paper out, my ruler out, and draw these boxes. And I'll explain what is in these boxes on my today do list. And I understand that there are plenty of apps out there and things. And I tr have tried all those things. So here's the deal. Use whatever works for you. Right, there you if, go. If you are all about an app and you're going to look at that all day... Um, I don't like it online for me. I kind of like it printed out so I can have it in front of me. And I'm just, even though I'm totally a techie, I still like the seeing the paper. So on one side of this paper, uh, so it's almost like if you can take a piece of paper and divide it horizontally, uh, vertically rather, in half. And so on the left-hand side, we have priority connections that just means who do I need to connect with today? What are things like calls and stuff that I have to make? And then priority tasks so that that part of that side of the paper is split up with that with basically lines and checkboxes to help you. On the other side, on the right-hand side of the page, you've got my listings and sales, meaning basically anything that you've got. This would be a good reminder of. Uh, what are your current listings and current escrows so that when you get into that number five spot, what, what tasks do you need to do for each of those escrows and or listings? Then hot prospects, that's just really your top, top, top leads. So what are your, who are the leads that are your, the ones that you know, having them in front of you would, will hopefully remind you to, um, you know, uh, follow up if you need to. And so this idea that keep coming back to laminating this, I love is that there could be things on here that, you're going to continue on for day, right. several days, like the certain prospects, or you still have the same listings and sales. So maybe that's a really great use of this. And then what else we have is, oh yeah, this is one's for me. You yep. could change this to whatever your niche is, is what videos, social media marketing are we focusing on today? What, and that, what you should put there is what legion are you doing today? Um, so it actually says video social, you know, you almost could just change that to be whatever is your primary way that you lead generate. Right. So that's, that's everything on the, on the, uh, my to do's Matt, is that correct? Yep. Yep. That's fine. All right, mm -hmm. Awesome. And then what the high level look is, so that's daily. The high level look was divided into daily. So there could be the daily things that you do but besides the do the daily, maybe you can get more specific in the do, do the daily on this one. Like what is your morning routine? Yeah, we are, we auto loaded this with morning routine and Legion for one to two hours. Cause those are not negotiable things yeah. that you have to do every day. So those are on there. And so you could actually have, you know, this is your commitment to the things that you do on a daily basis. And there's another place for you to check it off, but here's where you could basically get a little more specific for uh, the daily, what you're doing. And then there's a weekly priority list a monthly and a quarterly and an annually. This is just meant to be what are, what are the things that you're committed to doing on a daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, annual basis. So for example, annual, it would be for sure, like in October, doing your new business plan and setting right. intentions and goals for the new year. Example of quarterly would be a quarterly tune-up, which we actually have a worksheet for you. Monthly for me, is a thing comes to mind right away, is a newsletter. It's a monthly <laughs> newsletter, uh, which I just finished yesterday. Uh, weekly, it could be a weekly check-in on systems or, you know, you know, there could be things that you don't need to do daily, but you do weekly. Uh, updating your database, you know. To, so think through and organize your your whole year into tasks that happen in a timely manner, right? So that's the high level look. And then the monthly roadmap, totally love this. So we've got January to December on the left-hand side of this paper, then three columns, personal, business, and get up and get out. Now I did this several years ago and I'm going to get back to this. I'm, I'm excited about actually downloading all of this and going through this and you know because it's my goal is always to get this all done by the end of the year and it's to plan out maybe how i use this you use it however you want i'm just sharing with you the way we use this mm -hmm. how i personally use it 
you figure out what resonates with you. All these docs might not resonate with you, but for this one, it's where you plan and put in your schedule. When are you taking, so for example, in January, my sister and I are doing a retreat in, in California. I didn't tell you about that. I'll have to tell you about Lorraine and I going to this retreat uh, in Ventura uh, for two days over a weekend in January. Well, that's going on my January personal. Okay. If I'm going to take a business course or a, if I have something happening in my business as some kind of training or workshop, then you can plan these things out. Your travel, your weekend getaways, you know, when are you, I, may, I may go to Sedona again in March for another retreat. Um, those, this is what this, this document's for. Any other ideas for it, Matt? No, it, the, it, the whole point is you can see your whole year at one place so you can actually fill the whole thing out and find out. It, it, the whole point right, to being aligned and connected so you can prosper is to be well-rounded too, right? So don't, don't front load your year and then have nothing going on for the next eight That's months. Fine. You know what I mean? You want to you balance your life, right? So it's a great yep. document. Love it. Got to connect with nature more. Uh, exactly. All right. I love this one. This is just a business pipeline. I have this on my whiteboard, which is basically 30, 60, 90 days for prospects. Your people that you know that are coming, you know, now 30 days are people you're probably working with now, but who do you need to develop 60 to 90 days out? This could be new listings. This could be also, also uh, other things that you're doing for your business. Okay. So, uh, we have a project pipeline, so maybe save it for that. So this is more about things that are going to generate leads for you, uh, business for you, okay? And then the, the, the next one is the business, the project pipeline. Oops, so the project I'm pipeline is, a, is a good old combination of a lot of people have stuff out there. So you've probably seen things like, I've seen people who have sticky notes like up on a board or something and there's the do column, the doing calling and the done column. And then you got little sticky notes. You could color code it, you get creative. And this is another idea, or you could use this checklist that we have or this worksheet we have for you, where you just list all the projects you need to do. So what could that be? I got a great one for you. Setting up your monthly newsletter. If you're not doing that already, oh, finalizing your listing presentation to incorporate all the things, the visuals and things that you need to be able to talk about how commissions work now and post yeah. in our settlement things. So if you don't have those things, those are projects. So, so these projects could be personal. They could be business and a project is in the do column. And then when you're ready to work on it, so you might have this huge list of to do for the beginning of the year right now, then you're going to move it to the doing column because you're going to choose what you're going to work on because you can't work on all of them. I, I don't, I mean, you might be able to, do a little of each, but my recommendation is pick something, get it done. Yeah. So pick one, put it into the doing area, and then it goes to the done area once you have completed it. So whether you use our checklist or use the moving notes, which is kind of fun because you could like throw things away or you could show, you can also visually see and celebrate, look at all the projects I had done. Well, yeah, you, done. Can feel more, you can feel your momentum. Right. You can. So the quarterly tune up is just exactly what it says. You take a look at your business and your personal intentions and goals each quarter. And there's an area for you to write down accomplishments and celebrate your successes. I was just mentioning that. Yep. So important to stop and appreciate and have gratitude for what you've already accomplished as opposed to, you know, just always hyper focusing on what you haven't accomplished. Then there's just simply an area for you to write down the sales goal, what has been your sales goal, and how are you doing so far? What's the actual? So sales and actual, I mean, goal and actual for sales, listings, revenue, expenses, maybe adding people to your serum. These are things we have on here. Open houses. You can modify that however you like. Right. Whatever it is you're tracking, this is an area for you to put that. And then we've got on track what's working. So is there any tweaks of anything that is working for you? And this is just meant for you to write down. And, and it's, just a, it's just basically a tool to walk you through how to do a tune-up. The roadblocks, what's been getting in the way, what is causing you to not work on, for example, one to two hours of lead generation, mm -hmm. five days a week. Uh, and what can you do to work on that? What's happening for you? Are you saying, I don't have enough time? Uh, are you finding excuses like, you know, this has happened or this came up? And listen, Things happen in our lives. We, we literally are going to have times where we won't be as productive because of drama or issues or how you're feeling or family stuff. Okay, so we get that. And then course corrections. Now that you've assessed all that, 
what are you refocused and on to and commit to like spending one to two hours doing lead generation and really stick into that morning routine what are you do going to do to just do the course corrections or refocus and recommit and this is not about feeling bad about anything it's just about being aware right so that is where do people get the my path oh well, we're on our freebies page on our website wbnlcoaching.com freebies freebies page my path is right on there and we're gonna what we're talking about next will be on there too so freebies page is the place to go to get all of our downloads really so, awesome i love this tool because really this is a great companion piece to our business planning um module as well because uh the business planning is about the numbers right and know your expenses and figure out your goals are going to be and all that kind of stuff and this really if used correctly is really your action plan it gets in front of your face as well as often as you want to use it but if you use this on a daily basis weekly or even a monthly basis or even just for your, your quarterly tune-up right is brings all that stuff right back in there and a lot of this information can be brought directly over from the business plan itself so all of our tools connect and now we are going to introduce you to what we're calling the manifestation map. Bum, bum, bum. And the manifestation map it ha was a, uh, you know, for those of you that are watching, as Matt pulls it up here, this was my first version of this, okay? Ah. This, this was my 2024 version, and I showed this to, to Matt. It was actually from a, a workshop I went to last year. That was all about this, all about, you know, taking time was with a group of people where you went through and worked on, you know, creating your manifest, you know, manifesting your 2024. And I like the creative part of it. And so I, I explained it to him. I showed it to him. And then I drew out a really rudimentary version of You're what awesome. you are seeing right now. If you are watching this uh, or you go to our website, if you're listening and you can go download it and you can see it. And I'll do again, do my best to to describe it and also tell you how I'm using it to share a way that you could use it. But of course, you know, use it however you like, whatever, there is no right or wrong in all of this. It's just about doing the work to set the intentions and get clear in your mind and get aligned, right? We're, we're going to align, right. connect and prosper. That is oh. what the focus is. In fact, that is what my focus is. So that we're going to start point. with the center. So this, let me describe what this form has. So at the very top of the form, there is a box outlining green that says, I intend on manifesting. And at the bottom, it says, me, downtime, wandering. This is the personal area, okay, for writing down. And I recommend writing them in affirmation style. You could do whatever you want. You could just put keywords in here. But this is where you're going to put, after doing the work on your, on your setting your goals for business and personal, mm -hmm. which you, this, this document comes out after you've done all that work. And then you can have it in a place that you can, again, have it, put it up somewhere, see it all the time and use it as a very pow powerful daily tool. I'm going to end today with ways to use all of this. So that's in the top of the of the document. At the very bottom of the document is I intend on manifesting with a blue. What would you describe that as a what's the word? What's the shape of the, our outline on that? What is that? It's a rectangle with rounded corners. What is yeah, that? Yeah, there's like a word for it, but it's like kind is. of a anyway, it's really nice. Nice Don't curves. Google. Okay. Business, career, and money making. Okay. So the top personal, gotta focus on your personal self. The bottom is gonna be what are your business goals, your career goals for 2025? The top, the top couple of them. Okay. There's just room to put, it could be one, it could be two, it could be three, it could be whatever you want. Now, the best part of this for me <laughs> is the center of this page, which really is this very colorful Lotus style uh, image. Okay. And in the very top of it, of the circle, it has 2025. And in the middle of the circle, it says, I am dot, dot, dot. I'm going to walk you through this powerful I am theme exercise. And when you're done with the exercise, that's, you're going to put the word or words in that circle. Now there are petals, very colorful pastel colors all around the circle with little lines coming out of them. And that is just to get you fired up about adding whatever you want there. This could be additional themes, other key words, could be other goals. So for example, in 2024, I had things like uh, connection, abundance, travel tip trips that I was taking, saving so much money, doing my morning routine for well-being and 
more family time. So it could be things like that. It could be just some keywords. It's whatever you want it to be. It could be specific goals. But let me focus on, and we've got this in the show notes, and it's going to be the instructions I'm about to go through will be the second page of this download for the manifestation map. So again, you first have to go do your goals, outcomes, intentions exercise for the year. And then you're going to pull this out and you'll be able to do that personal and business part. So let's focus on how to do this I am theme. Now, Matt, we've done this for a couple of years, right? Right. Uh, what was the theme for the year? And you know what? I wrote it down. So in 2023, my theme was freedom and uh, freedom and sovereignty. In 2024, it was taking action. <laughs> yeah. And I have done this exercise. So my theme, you're not going to be surprised by this. I actually meditated on this morning to see if there's just a certain word. Um, and, and taking action was important for me last year. And that is really and what you did, I did. Too. You followed your theme, which was awesome. And so now I am all about working on align, aligning, connecting so that I can prosper. So that is my theme for 2025. I am aligned connected and prosperous now when we talk about aligning and connecting it's on so many levels it's aligning my thoughts aligning aligning my you know con my connection to you know the higher part of me it's so it's a spiritual level but it's also clearing things out you know working on nutrition and all these things that's what alignment means to me because then when i'm a when i'm clear in my body mind emotionally physically mentally spiritually i can connect better connect meaning personally right. to higher self but connecting to other people connecting to relationships connecting and attracting more people into my life for all reasons for relationships for business and so on and then prosperity as a result of that so that's my theme and i did a process to get there so let me walk you through what uh, some ideas now you could just sit down and think this through and calm your mind do some deep breathing and just see what comes up and but here's some steps for you if you need to have a process so first of all reflect on the previous year what challenges did you face this past year how did you grow from them i just mentioned i was really all about taking action i have taken action i really assessed you know i have to continue on that path of taking action but i'm ready to move to the next phase for me what accomplishments did i did i do well for me i paid off my car you know i handled some other financial things that i needed to take care of you know i put a game plan together to that's going to be a three or four year game plan to get me where I want to be to be able to, I'm going to just call it fun retire, not even semi retire. It's just going to be a different type of I what like I that. do, right? Yeah. My fun retirement. Any lessons that you learn? So you start with that. And then here's a little journal prompt for you. So just take 10 minutes, reflect on it, write about moments where you felt strongest, you know, uh, that showed you how you're doing and how you've made progress. And then, you know, just write it all down. Like that's the sharing the celebrations along the way, but it's also, did you not handle everything or, you know, wh where did you falter? Because that will help you. That'll give you some insights. This whole thing is about trying to get to a statement or a couple words that are going to really resonate with you for the new year. Now you got to get into those values, those core values years ahead, the qualities, the feeling, the, the power words. As a matter of fact, when we did this exercise before, I bet we could find it. If we go back in our, just came to my head, remember when you, one year, I don't know what year, Matt, we did a whole word map kind of thing, and we, we listed like all these powerful words. Wasn't it, orig wasn't it in the one of the original My Paths? I think it was. I don't know, but we if we can find it, we'll, we'll it. search our own website. Yeah. Th that's another way to do this. And actually, we I think it's a word cloud. It's word yeah, cloud. But word cloud is the another way to, to get to a, an example of this, right, of our manifestation map, meaning right. it's an online thing where you have to put your words in and then it creates a very cool map image for you. But the point is you have to know the words. You just don't pick some words out of the air. It's just yeah. not like picking a number out of the air for what you want to do. For yeah. I want to close. I want to make $100,000 next year. Well, only if that means something to you, you know, meaning what? How did you get to that hundred thousand? So same idea. So you can sit down and, and next thing, just write all those qualities out that you want to embody. How do you want to feel each day? Feelings is really important. Is it peaceful, powerful, joyful? Are you confident, strong? 
you know, uh, and then what are the words that resonate? So just do, do it, write it out, free form, get a blank piece of paper and write out all of this as you're going through this exercise. There's you know, a visualization. Yeah, that, go ahead. That whole part about feeling is so important because it, it, it just think about just those words you just use, the difference between feeling calm or, or uh, powerful are so different, you know? So yeah. if you really know what you're looking for and what you what really want to feel, you can you can certainly guide your 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 plan much you know much better and more focused. It's 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 Love fascinating. It. So but do the work because this is this is if you really put everything into this and be in a quiet space, make it a little ritual, light a candle, set the tone you know, be somewhere where you won't be interrupted. Just take yourself 30 minutes to an hour and do this. You'd be surprised what comes up for you. And it may be after you do this exercise, something pops into your head and you're like, no, wait a minute. That's the word. Yeah, All good. Be. That's the beauty part of laminating this bad boy <laughs> and go in and change it again. I am so doing this lamination thing. Um, all right. Here's a great visualization exercise. Clo here, do it with me. If you're listening, let's just do it together. Right. You ready? I'm just going to walk you through this and see if you can get into the space as you're listening to my voice. So close your eyes. Imagine yourself 12 months from now. See yourself thriving, embodying the person you wish to become. What words would you use to describe this future version of yourself? Let those words guide your I am statement. So now just do that. Uh, do a visualization. See what it is that you're wanting and then write the words down on a page on a piece of paper okay now you're going to be able to craft these statements now you do this any way you want these can be i'm going to give you some examples of what we put in here i'm a magnet for abundance and success this is just a powerful i am affirmation i am filled with peace love and joy in all that i do i am resilient capable and ready to thrive now for me just for me, for how this resonates for this particular document and this manifestation map, I like key theme words. You do whatever you like. So here's some examples. I am resilient. I am abundant. I am confident. I am worthy. I am powerful. I am unstoppable. I am joyful. I am grounded. Sneezed on the truth. I am fearless, like that one. I am Thank limitless. You. So you get the idea. Jan is, I am aligned, connected, and prosperous in 2025. So you could combine them. You could do whatever works for you, whatever resonates and feels right for you. Okay. And that's what you're going to write in the circle, right here in the circle. All right. Either laminate it or write it in the circle, print another one out, whatever you need to do if you mess it up. And I'm telling you, I am so into this creativity. I have two sets of uh, pens, colorful uh, pens and stuff that I've started using because it's just so much fun to, you know, I don't know, find a way to, to feel good and feel creative. All right. So now that you've done that, let me give you the rest of the instructions for the manifestations map. Obviously, you, you know, you get this, you download it, you do this IM exercise, you put it in the middle. Now, again, I'm just going to reiterate your intentions for personal life go in the top, your intentions for business go on the bottom and that can be i recommend always written in positive powerful i am statements it can also just be simply 44 closings whatever works for you okay right then um around the circle this is where you'll put maybe more of those keywords or or specific things that you want to accomplish whatever else you you envision and you want to manifest for 2025 there's places for you to put that all around the circle just have fun with it right I love it. All right. So how do you integrate this into your daily life? Well, here's a powerful, powerful thing. Obviously, you put this somewhere. Okay. You 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 put it up so you can see it every day. If you're in your workstation, maybe you copy it and you carry it around if you still have like a put it as the home home screen on your phone. So every time you go look at your phone, it's on the home screen. Absolutely. It could be the home screen on your computer, on your laptop. Right. All you know, you it's it, we're visuals. Most of us are visual. Put it somewhere. But here's some other ideas. Record in your own voice and every phone, I'm pretty sure the the Androids have it, but there's a voice recorder, <laughs> recorder, recorder, recorder that a voice recorder. Just go into your phone and search in the apps voice recorder if you if you don't know where it is. It's built into the iPhone. I use it all the time. 
and recording your voice. Now, here's a powerful thing. Uh, put some powerful music on mm -hmm. in the background while you record in your voice, your I am statements, your intentions, your all your goals for the year. And this might just be like a one minute recording. But the power of that is you can listen to it throughout the day. You're standing in lot. You get up in the morning before you go to night, you know, before you go to sleep at night, uh, where you're just stop for a second, do a breathing exercise and listen in your, while you're traveling, just put it on and listen to it on repeat. And while you're walking. Uh, very, very powerful. And, and listen, go get muse, um, go look for music on Google. And you can download things like this, Binaural Beats. Look for Binaural Beats. Um, the couple that I recommend, we can put in the show notes. So remind me to give you Hemisync and um, Kelly Howells. I love her guided meditations and stuff, but some of them just have music. But it's all about this, this, this high-frequency uh, tones and so forth that you're listening to that can really kind of impact your energy and so forth. So anyway, those are things that you can do and then just start each day. You know, as part of your daily routine by either listening or, or reading this out, not just looking at it, but, you know, saying those things out. And what you're doing when you do this as a habit every day, you're training your subconscious mind. You're, you're, you're starting to embody and believe that this is really happening. And even when you go about your day and you have something that happens that gets you to say, I'm not which is those negative self-talks, I'm not abundant, or I'm, I, these things always happen to me. You start to just catch yourself. And then if you have this with you, or if you've got it recorded, you pull it out right away and just start changing the tune. Stop that thought. Go back to I am aligned, connected, and prosperous, That's or beautiful. whatever it is for you. Beautiful. So we love this. I hope this has inspired you to take charge of your 2025 but why not why not take charge of the rest of your 2024 now and get a jump start and do it right now as you flow in this is going to give you practice for the next few months so you'll be you will be a master at doing this by january 1st 2025 yeah really good stuff i i really love that manifestation map as a matter of fact i'm going to work on that myself which you know is not my normal thing but I, I, I love, love hearing that. I'm certainly yeah. not going to try to coerce you into doing it, no, but it's, wow, it's Matt Emerson's cool. going to do it's, it. I like the concept. You know what I mean? In, the inner work that we've been talking about is so important, you know, so I think Absolutely. that's fantastic. You can get all the information that we just talked about, or, or, or it'll, you can get all the information and where to get all the stuff over on our show notes at wbnlpodcast.com. This has been episode 315. But if you just want to go, if you just want to jump right to it and you want to get the my path or get the manifestation map, go over to our website, wbnlcoaching.com and go to our freebies page. And they're all right there. Click the button and it's all yours. You just have to uh, give us a little information. And get on our mailing list for crying out loud you know we send out one and or two emails every week that are uh are business related and uh, mindful mindful thoughts and uh, just great stuff so um it's not a mailing list that you get every day asking you to buy our products although we would love for you to do that <laughs> anyway all right hey jenna brian i did look up what the rounded rectangle is called thank you what is it uh well the mathematical term for a rounded rectangle is called a stadium that's kind of cool um, but I, they, they say the most common word for it, and I've never heard this before myself, but it's kind of cool. It's called the happy rectangle. The happy rectangle. Yeah. That's, That's awesome. how I felt when I was trying to describe it. It's well, perfect. That's what I felt that you were feeling. So there you go. Well, use the happy rectangle in the very marvelous manifestation map to create your amazing and magnificent 2025. Awesome. What is next? Well, next week is our gratitude episode. So don't miss next week. We're going to oh. be talking about Ooh, we got good know, stuff on that. Being good gratitude stuff. in your life. We do it every year. It's always a little bit different every year. It's fun to go back and look at those other podcasts too, just to hear what we were talking about in any of those particular, particularly year. Particular There's some this good old standards, but we're yeah. going to, I've, I've had some new awakenings on the whole gratitude thing. So we'll, we'll add to that. And then the following week on the, uh, well, on the 8th is when we're actually filming it. So I believe the 12th of November, we have a special guest. Brad um, Gustafson is going to come on and talk. What's this product called again, Jeff? Trans track. Trans track. That's right. Transaction tracking system for real estate agents. It's brilliant. So good stuff there. So just once again, all the information over at the show notes, WBNOPodcast.com, episode 315. And until next week, align, connect, and prosper. Do it. Just do it. <laughs>